crazy. So I thought that I would do a video kind of based on girl talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I thought I would call it like Friday Night Girl Talk. And if y'all liked it, then maybe I could do it like every Friday night because um, I know a lot of us are housewives or just wives in general with jobs and husbands and, you know, kids and, um, and you know, whatever. And sometimes our Friday and Saturday nights are literally just sitting at home relaxing and things like that, you know, because, you know, well, I'm 29. I'll be 30 next June. Holy moly. So my Friday nights are nowhere near what they were when I was in my early 20s or whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought, you know, there's probably more of y'all that, you know, on a Friday night, you don't go out and hang out with your girlfriends. I mean, I know a lot of you do and that sounds super fun, but, but I don't. I'm here. And so let's have some girl chat and I will tell you what actually and i'm so sorry y'all if y'all know me at all you know that i fiddle with my hair like there's no tomorrow okay it's not long but she can wait um okay so what actually brought this video on and no i'm not wearing makeup obviously um is okay so girl talk i was trying well i am trying the whole go two to three days without washing your hair what just went happened okay and um, so yeah, I did that. I think I went three days without washing my hair and I actually just washed it and blow dried it. But um, holy moly, like the first day, obviously it was clean. Second day, um, it was fine. Third day, which was today? Yeah, today. I put a crap ton of dry shampoo in it and put it into ponytail and Oh, like okay it was fine like it you know whatever it didn't bother me it was okay I can totally do that and when I got in the shower to wash my hair like I literally washed it you know twice like I said I have to wash my hair two or three times it's really thick but it's still you probably cannot tell on camera I'm sure you absolutely cannot but it is still oily especially right through here and all through here actually you probably can tell um, it is still oily, y'all. Do y'all have that problem? Oh my gosh. It is so annoying when you freshly wash your hair really deep. And even in the shower, like I'll separate and I'll scrub and I'll separate and I'll scrub and, you know, I'll do that in the back. I mean, I try everything I can to get that hair like clean. And then, you know, I'll put conditioner only in the bottoms. You no, know, I'll leave it in for a bit or like from here down and um you know leave it in a bit you know and then i get out and i start blow drying it and i'm like holy crap my hair is still greasy like what is up with that so like do y'all have that problem too or is it just like me am i just like <laughs> not washing my hair correctly i don't know so yeah that is like um a problem that i'm having um and i've actually been having that problem for a while like i will wash my hair and then it's still greasy and it's super annoying okay so another thing i wanted to talk to y'all about Okay, this new, well, it's not a new YouTube channel, but it's new to me because I just started watching it. It's called M.M. and L. Show. And if if you watch The Bachelor or Bachelor Pad, you will know Michelle Money. She's got the long hair. She's really pretty. Um, she's actually a hairdresser. And um, she was from Brad Womack's second season. So, yeah, it's actually her mm for michelle money and her best friend laura or laura whatever um and i am like obsessed with their videos they do a lot of um like girl videos um like tips and things like that okay one of their videos this is gonna sound crazy but was on okay i think the title is actually how a woman shaving a woman's face i don't know something like that and i was like what the shaving a woman's <laughs> face <laughs> like what is that so anyways i watched it and it was them showing these which i've had forever these little facial razors let me see if i can let's see there you go you can see them they got little teeth um i actually bought them for my eyebrows and 
me show you how to use it real quick. Okay, you cannot use it straight down. You can't use it like that. You have to use it at an angle. And let's see. You just kind of go slowly. Yeah, okay. So and these are actually great. They're really inexpensive, like for real. But they were saying how like they have facial hair. I, I, I guess they mean like, pe well, they did mean peach fuzz. But to me, I mean, I have peach fuzz and I'm not gonna shave at all. Like they were shaving from like here down and like here down. And I just like in here, I, I guess here, here, I really don't know. But I personally, I wax right here. I've been doing it since I was probably 16 years old. So now it's like almost non-existent. Cause after you wax something for so long, I guess your lip or something, it's just like the hair stops growing as thick right there or whatever. But um, I was, I was watching it and I was like, oh my God, like I have, and it's from the polycystic ovarian syndrome. You grow excess hair um, because you have extra, or you have testosterone, like, like a man, like you have more testosterone or something. Not, not more testosterone than, a, <laughs> not more testosterone than a man, but you have, <laughs> you have testosterone like a man. So, um, I personally have the facial hair and this is getting real. Okay. So this is pretty embarrassing, but I will have these black hairs that like grow like out of here and they've started on my neck and it's just like freaking nasty to me it's nasty it makes me sick because i hate hair like i freaking hate like body hair i just i can't stand it so what i started doing years ago i was 19 about about the time i was diagnosed with pcos i it started off just being like one hair so i would pluck it and um i would say and then you know it started being like two over here like two over here whatever no big deal I'll pluck them you know pluck them use these things they are your friends these are by tweezer man and they are like the best investment ever they are kind of expensive they're like these are like 20 bucks if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but i think i'm thinking they were like 20 bucks but they come with a lifetime warranty and you never have to like they never go dull um and they come in a little case these are a great great investment in my opinion and I pluck my eyebrow hairs with them too. I also get mine waxed. If you noticed, I don't have an arch. I never have. Like, I just don't have that natural arch. <gasps> Wouldn't that be beautiful? Like, I totally want to get like an eyebrow lift. But anyways, um, so most of the time I get them waxed when I and I get my lip waxed. Well, actually, I've started blah, 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 doing that at home. But sometimes if I'm like having a girls' night, I'll just pluck them all myself. But anyways, off topic, ADD face. So. I was like, oh my God, so these hairs, and then they started growing more to where like I had legit, like it was real fine. It wasn't thick or coarse. It was real thin black hairs, like all right there. It was just sick. And so I would tweeze them and then it became to where it was like, oh, you know, that's hard to tweeze, you know? So I know a lot of you that follow me have PCOS as well. So I'm guessing some of you have the facial hair problem. Um, I know some women, they're, you know, they actually have like legit facial hair. And I'm very, and like in odd places on their body. And I'm, I'm blessed that I don't have that. So, you know, I'm not really complaining about the chin hairs. But <laughs> so I was watching their video and I was like, well, okay, let me just, you know, use my little razor and just get like, you know, the little hairs. Ladies, I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Do it if you want, but do it at your own risk, okay? This this is fine for this and this, and that's all, in my opinion. In my opinion, these are fine for your eyebrows because I will tell you what. I watched that video, and they were like, oh, no, you're not going to grow the hair back um, faster or thicker or more coarse or anything. We do it, you know, once every two weeks and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm trusting these ladies <laughs> and I still watch their channel, but, um, no, that didn't happen. I, I think I shaved like, really like just right there because that's where I grow like a big chunk of them. Um, that was two days ago and this morning 
I was like looking at them and you can see like three black stubble. It's not a big deal because you have to get really, I mean, even y'all probably can't see it. But you have to get really up close to see it. But I will tell you what, if you rub your hand like that, you can feel those three little stubble. The reason I'm telling you this is because don't, if you go subscribe to their channel and you happen to see that video, do it at your own risk. But if you do like they do and you are shaving your face, you are gonna grow back man stubble. And I'm not even kidding you. Or I did and then I read through the comments and a lot of these women did too. So, oh my gosh, maybe you're lucky and you, uh, you know, shave you know, with a little facial. I mean, that's what these are made for. Maybe you use one of these and you don't have that problem, but I'm just warning y'all because, you know, girls should like totally warn other girls about stuff like that. So that, I think that's all I want to talk about today. Um, it is Friday night at 6.30 and I'm about to watch Mean Girls and just kind of, I don't know, watch some YouTube and just kind of have like some Stacy time because I've been busy this week cleaning my houses, which is work. It's hard work. Um, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so y'all comment below and tell me what you think about the greasy hair and the and the facial shaving and all that stuff. And I love y'all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!